Hello and welcome. This is AMDP week for our CDS professional and advanced course. In this particular week, we have focused on AMDP ABAP managed data procedure. What happens in AMDP? In AMDP, we have object oriented pattern to design methods which run inside our database as part of database procedure. Now here we are talking about HANA. AMDP are HANA specific. What is the advantage of that? In AMDP, we can have a performance advantage if we have multiple SAP select statements which are independent of each other, then they can be run in parallel when we execute it with AMDP. When we are using it with CDS, CDS views, as we all know, have the capability to remain in the application server. We can manage this development object in the application server. And when we try to use AMDP to extract data for CDS, we get good from both the world where our structure, the CDS view, is inside the application server repository. And also the implementation of extracting data is happening inside the HANA layer, which is as a part of database procedure. We'll not be covering the basic syntax, but we will try to complicate the use case which matches with the real world complexity. We'll see multiple joins, how they work together. We will also see how to consume the AMDP in our ABAP program with object or with class method where we directly use the methods with the class name. We'll also see the tabular function, which is using CDS with AMDP. We will also see how to use different types of AMDP method within each other. And also we will explore a little bit syntax of AMDP methods, how you should be writing syntax. We'll not only be covering how to do it, but also what not to do or what to do. We'll mention the limitation of AMDP or what you cannot do and see the realistic scenario which is required for you when you work on the project. We'll also at the end of this course, we'll see where the AMDP objects actually sit inside the database. And with all this, we will get a hands-on understanding of AMDP. I hope that this course will give you a strong foundation and working knowledge of a BAP managed data procedure when we use it with CDS or without CDS as well. And after this particular section, you will be able to use AMDP in your project scenario. My name is Ajay Naik and I'm going to instruct this particular section for CDS professional and advanced course where we cover AMDP. And I hope to see you in this course.